Hello, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, and thank you for being here with me today. Uh, before I begin this reading, I'd just like to say thank you so, so much uh, for popping in. It really does mean so, so much to me. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like. Um, you can leave behind a like on this video as well. Hopefully, this is going to be helpful. Uh, we're going to be looking into the person who is returning to you. So this is the one that has been thinking about you, has been thinking about contacting you, been thinking about potentially coming back and getting something going again. Um, so we'll look and see who this person is that could be coming in in the next few days. So we're going to channel who this is. Um, it can be someone you're in no contact with. It can be someone you sort of broke up with or you have you might have even had an argument of some kind. Um, we'll see uh we'll see um what comes up here so let's get some cards out for you water signs and see who this person is what's going on in this scenario um for both of you together it's definitely someone who's still hung up on you with the hangman so this is someone that they never got over you. Could be someone younger. Pages are often seen as younger or your age with the knight. Um, two of cups. This is twin flame energy with the two of cups. Strong Leo. So if you're dealing with that sign... Actually, fire is pretty strong here, so it can be someone with a lot of fire in their chart who's wanting to come back, wanting to, uh, is, is missing you. Um, okay, they, they really thought you were it, water signs. They really thought you'd be the one they'd settle down with. I'm getting this as someone you, something about an engagement or a partnering up. Um, so I feel like you might have even been engaged to this person before or you spoke very seriously about this. Okay, I'm getting this is someone where things were very one-sided. I feel like a lot of you put your... A lot of you put your time and energy into this into this connection into this relationship and they might not have given you as much as they could have this is someone who has coming up with a little bit of emotional um, instability so i get that this was like a hot and cold connection or this person was very hot and cold with you um one day they're really warm you know everything's going really well they're, they're so into you the next day they back away a little bit strong cancer energy now cancer is a very moody um energy it's very fluid it's very moody it's water-like energy so i'm wondering if there could have been a bit of cancer energy in this person's natal chart uh or it's like they've got wa that water element but it's like it's a moody kind of person who's coming through um and they're going through like this whirlwind of emotions like the hangman tells me overall this person probably hasn't been doing too well. Um, I get that they've sort of, this is someone who's really withdrawn, okay? This is the crab, right? The crab retreats into its shell. So my inkling is that this person has kind of disappeared, possibly even ghosted you, water signs. Um, they disappeared. I'm getting this like they've completely retreated. So they might have deleted their WhatsApp. Maybe they deactivated their social media. Um, maybe they've just completely gone MIA. It's been a sort of like a coping mechanism for this person because they have been missing you. They do have a lot of water in their chart. And I feel like that's where you had potentially a lot of compatibility. It could be more for the Cancers watching, but um, these retreating cards, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, um, and, and of course the crab in the chariot, it's, yeah, it's, it's telling us something, telling us something about this connection. Uh, could be someone, um, 
who's a life path number four. Um, but I feel like it's, it's, if they're in a number four energy, I feel like they're going through a lot of spiritual things right now. And I'm not surprised, you know, seven of cups are a bit, they're a bit disorientated right now. Um, if I'm completely honest, look, they might have been with other people since you, we've got pages, we've, well, we've got a couple of pages, we've got a night. So for some of you, it could be someone who is in a rebound relationship right now. Um, and that's, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to last. I feel like they're finding themselves. We've got the eight of cups. Um, so something about a search, they're searching for themselves. They're doing some soul searching. They need to look for what they want in, in life. Like I'm getting, they're confused. They're overwhelmed. I think a lot of people want a lot of different things from them. Like maybe they're from a family and they're like getting a lot of pressure. You know, when are you going to settle down? When are you going to have kids? Or maybe their kids are saying, you know, you need to settle down. You need to find someone. So, and, and maybe like society, it's like, it's an overwhelming kind of energy. <clears throat> And they really had big plans for you, um, water signs. They really thought that this was going to go the distance. And since it didn't, or you broke up, or whatever this happened, whatever happened here, um, you know, they were very distraught. And I feel like if they were a really outgoing personality, it's almost like they've retreated back in and they've become a little bit more reserved, a little bit more shy, a little bit more quiet, a little bit more to themselves. Um, so I feel like they're trying to find their strength. It could be someone who has been married or engaged before. Um, like I said, it could be someone who's around your age or a little bit younger. This person could be quite spiritual or religious with the Four of Swords. Um, Eight of Cups and Four of Swords could be someone who's foreign or somehow at a distance to you. So. This is like maybe a long distance connection. This could be someone living around the other side of the world. This could be someone who's moved away since then for work or for uni or whatever it is. There could be some sort of, they're sort of like up and left. But I get that this person was one sided with you for some reason. So things weren't always like you weren't, you didn't always get what you gave. There were times when this person could have done more than they actually did. They could have, yeah, they could have stepped up to the plate. Look, they're definitely kicking themselves now about, uh, now, um, you know, that four of swords, that hangman is, the hangman is hung up. The hangman knows he's done something wrong. It's, it's, it's consequence. So something about a consequence, something that happened between the both of you that this person ha now has to live with, um, and I do get an I, I do get a touch of regret here with the uh, hangman, um, six of pentacles. They're still doing the one sided thing. So even if they're in a rebound relationship, they haven't changed completely. You know, growth change it, it takes time. And I'm getting a sense that um, they're still one sided with even if they are seeing someone new, they're still feeling this overwhelmed amount of emotions. They're still giving that one-sided energy. Um, but they are sentimental. I get that they might be looking over old photos or old messages or um, any sort of items they have from you. The chariot is a sentimental energy. Um, so that's that's saying something, I feel. And I think they're talking to their family about you. Look, it could be someone who has kids. This might be the person who's coming back. Um, has kids. They're a traditional person. So they are pretty close with their family. And I think their family might be helping them through some stuff. Um, they might be helping them deal with some of this um, emotional, um, some of these emotional things that's going on. But they're definitely going through a lot of emotions. So... Yeah, and I feel like they've removed themselves. So this might be someone who has maybe moved away. Maybe they do a lot of traveling for work. Like I said, they're a bit of an adventurer or explorer. Or, or like I said, it could be someone who's gone back to visit family and friends overseas or to a different country. 
or they they're mixed heritage but like this this venturing away holidaying going abroad is coming up so it might be someone who travels a lot for work or um is mobile like for work they might have to drive around to different sites they might sort of bounce between different locations um they're an active person so this is someone who looks after themselves they've got an active energy so they're either high energy or they're um like they like to look after themselves they need to be physically fit uh they like the outdoors this is someone who like likes to be outside maybe in nature doing things hiking walking running jogging it could be someone who's quite competitive but i also get like a leadership energy um so they might be like the eldest sibling they might hold a management role in their job they could be just like a really good leader maybe authoritarian or directive at times but like i said since things have happened this person's like dialed it down and people have definitely noticed a difference um you know there's definitely been people around them that have that have been like you know how are you feeling like is everything okay what's going on and like i said i feel like they're retreating and probably only telling the most intimate of people um about the situation and look they could be using like physical fitness as a means for them to sort of um cope cope with everything that's that's come uh, that's coming in um I feel like they've looked you up or they've searched you up. The Page of Pentacles tells me this person is watching you or somehow seen what you've been up to. So they might have driven past your work. Um, they might have looked you up on social media through a friend's account. Maybe they check to see when you're online on WhatsApp. Like the Page of Pentacles, like she's looking directly in here and she's like, she has this eye shifted gaze. So I feel like their attention is still on you. Okay, it hasn't left entirely. They might be still looking you up here. I feel like they could come back for engagement or marriage. And I feel the way they're going to approach you is like with that page of one's energy. So they might be very lighthearted, maybe even crack a joke to sort of come back into your life. I don't feel like it's going to be a complete, I miss you and they'll break down sobbing. Whilst for some of you that may happen and that may be very nice. But for others, I feel like it's just this person will sort of want to keep it light um and and sort of test the waters and see how you go from there uh that's what i'm getting um so four four and seven have come up um a couple of times so it might be in the next four to seven days it might be at 4 p.m. that you hear from them, 7 p.m. Um, these numbers might be significant, could be their life path number of 407. Um, you know, 47, 73, something about these numbers may be significant or connected to when this person does return. And, and, and like I said, they're going to keep it light. Um, for some of you, I do see like it's an unexpected bumping into each other though. It's not like a pre-planned thing and it's like physically uh, bumping into them whilst you're at like at the shops or you're with your family or you're out and about in the community. So I wouldn't be too surprised if you also see one of their friends or their siblings actually. And then that friend or sibling goes back and says, Oh my god you never you'll never get who i bumped into so i think it's a friendly encounter to keep the peace but i do feel like that's coming up they this person wants something long term i think they just need to work on you know doing that bit of soul searching and figuring out okay look eventually yeah i do want to settle or i do want this relationship but you know, I feel like there needs to be a sort of uh, boundaries, like self boundaries, but also boundaries in the relationship. And I think that's where they kind of slapped off a little bit or didn't really know what they were doing. Um, I get that this is more an inexperienced person in love. So I don't think they've had many relationships before you. Or if they have, it's been very minimal, like one or two significant ones. And that's it. They haven't had a lot of experience with breakups or anything like this. And this is why I think they're really struggling is because a lot of this is new to them. Um, or whatever this is, like no contact, having a fight together. Like it's 
it's kind of overwhelming for them and they might not like confrontation. Like I said, there's a lot of withdrawal energy, so they're retreating, but they're kind of also punishing themselves. The hangman's also like waiting, so they might be waiting. There's quite a bit of fire energy around this person, so wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of ego and pride. So someone who has a lot of pride, they could be very stubborn in their own ways and, and they might even be waiting for you to reach out to them first um, and kick things up again. Maybe they have this expectancy, especially if you've done it in the past. They're like, okay, yet yeah, I'm not worried. They're going to come back in some form. I'm going to hear from them. Something will happen here. Um, yeah. Hmm. And, you know, I get that this is someone who's quite impressionable. So I'm getting like this is someone who really listened to their friends and family. And like they were really influenced about external things. And I think at times that took away from your relationship or took away from your connection. And, you know, there could be an epiphany coming from this person. There might be some big things they're realizing about themselves, you know, as a person, as a lover, how they were to you. You know, and maybe they need to go through that because if they don't do, if they don't go through this, how will they have these realizations and epiphanies? So, but that's more like, I don't see them being completely open about that. Again, I think a bit of that pride is coming in and it's not exactly like they'll share what's really going on on a deeper subconscious level. They don't want to show you that vulnerability. Okay, they're coming up as the dragon, so they... They want to come across as cool, calm, collected, strong, stubborn. But really, there's a much softer side to them that they have. And you might see things things balanced out when they do return. Because there's a mutualness. And this two of cups trumps the six of pentacles. So when things were one-sided before, it'll be more mutual. Or it's like your energy will set that boundary and they'll know, okay, I can't mess this up. Like, I need to appreciate this person. I can't take them for granted anymore. Like, I need to step up. And really, that's what you want. Deep down, it's what you want. So you might be pleasantly surprised when they do come back. But I'm getting it's like a light-hearted kind of... They might crack a joke. They might compliment you on something. They might even be sexual with you. Um... That page of wands is a bit of a flirtatious energy, so wouldn't be surprised if they're a bit more flirty, fun, sort of trying to keep it light with you. Um, but they've they've got they've got motives. Their motives is, is to get to something deeper, and they want to work through it. The chariot is about working through and overcoming the stuff that went down, like overcoming what they did wrong, overcoming the bad, like. I think a lot of you will be pleasantly surprised with the version of this person that you're going to get and how different or how much more they've matured and flourished. Um, and I just looked at my phone as I uh, just looked at my phone then it's 11, 11. So I feel like this person is thinking about you at this current time, as you watch this right now in this moment, like I'm getting synchronicity. Um, that you probably actually are thinking about each other at the exact same time. There could potentially be a lot of renumerating going on. Ruminating? Renuminating? Ruminating, I think that's the word. I'll have to Google that. Um, <laughs> but look, I do think you have something here. So, you know, this person's energy is definitely coming up stronger and stronger as the days go by, as the hours go by. So, um, I do hope this reading has been helpful for you water signs um, please don't forget to uh, drop a like you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, feel free to email me any suggestions of readings you'd like to see on the channel um, i'd love to hear your thoughts uh, and thank you everyone so so much for supporting me on youtube it's been so amazing to see the channel grow so um, i really do appreciate it 
I am wishing you all the best and I am wishing the both of you lots of love, healing and a beautiful reunion ahead. So thank you so, so much. And until next time, bye for now.